Haven't done much of an update on this lately, but just got the new uh, rear bumper cover for this thing in. So, had to bust the package open to make sure that's what it was, but it is. They wrapped it up pretty good. Now this one's a black one, so it is gonna have to be painted. Reminds me I've gotta call back and check on the cost of the paint. Got one price quote for 122, $122 for the, uh, for the paint for this thing. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before or not, but it's Bermuda, Bermuda Blue. Paint coat is uh, on the door of the glove box. It says U214M. So far, nobody's used the U that I've called to price it. <clears throat> not really sure why. Also not really sure why they wrapped this up so well. Just an old bumper cover for Pete's sake. You can tell it's used. Got road dirt on it. and scratches but it don't matter that's all going to be painted over anyway and they're not deep scratches they're just light uh, paint scratches that can be buffed out easy enough if I wasn't going to be painting it I gotta stuff this thing up and get it ready for paint anyway now there's the guy that finally got our internet back on internet's been off all afternoon. That's the Comcast guy going down the road. It's been out here working to get it all kept back on for us again. So you guys see it's all shiny black but uh, it wouldn't be one that you'd want to just throw right on the vehicle even if you had the, the right color because it's got those are kind of little deep scratches there but again most of that can all be buffed out anyway I'm gonna get this thing unwrapped and get it thrown in the thrown in the truck because uh, my wife wants it out of the house she said it's too intrusive gets in the way too much so we're going to put it in here and, oh, while I'm at it, I realized before, oh, doggone it, stinking dog has been up on it, I'll break his nose. <clears throat> of course, I've got the front all dirty again, I had it vacuumed out. Um. Now, right here, it's moderately clean again. It, it needs a good going over from like right here back. See right there on that, that little ridge, the little step up to go up into the third row seat. There's a good bit of cleaning needs done there and I've still got some staining right here. But everything else came out really clean. Now, now it's still not finished yet either, but look what I did with the sunroof. Remember it was gray and had that foam on it with all the weird stuff etched in it? Not no more. 
I got some uh, actually some tan camo paint um, I was going to use that stupid garbage that they hit the um, upholstery and carpets and stuff such up with but one that stuff never lasts and it doesn't do a real good job of covering in the first place and there's a little spot right here and here where it's glossy I'm gonna kind of lightly hit with the sandpaper also thought about it and y'all never heard this thing crank up of course you've also got the line of my air conditioner that never goes off oh my washer fluid's low finally I've used the fire out of that washer fluid in this thing. Yeah, none of the TPMS sensors are working on this right now either. They had, uh, I guess they had some cheapo tires put on here and they didn't rebuild the TPMS sensors when they put those on here. Now you get out of here, little man. Get out. Only dog in the house that listens. Good boy. But, um, your Dominator, 148, 291. Got a couple more miles on it since, uh, I bought it but only a couple because all I've done is drove, drove it back and forth from the neighbor's house to here anyway good clean power Of course, you got the touch screen radio, CD player. Actually, it'll handle DVDs too, but the only DVD that it'll handle is the navigation disc that I, of course, do not happen to have. See, no map disc. But I have been told uh, recently that um, you have to have the file burned to a dual layer DVD so that it can read everything and there's a map disk file that I've downloaded off the internet that I'm gonna have to get a, um, a dual layer DVD to put on it to where I can actually use navigation it's not like uh, regular GPS this is just a DVD that supposed to work also and it just basically references everything off of the the DVD instead of pinging the satellites like it should of course it's got the uh, OnStar and all that garbage too there's the rear AC garage door unit which I'll never have to worry about from the looks of things I mean it's simple but refined I mean it's it's the thing I fall, fell in love with oh and unlike all of our other ones the cigarette lighter actually works in this one so the front adapter does work the rear ones do not mine doesn't in that one because the way they they had everything jerry rigged up on it when I first got it um, it uh, burned out the wire in the box so I'd have to put a whole brand new um, whole brand new fuse panel under the hood to be able to use my and I'd have to redo the end of the wire to be able to use my um, cigarette lighter again 
but I don't I'm not messing with it because I still got this this one in my truck too. Holy crap, where did the junk come from? Just washed all that stuff out and I've got garbage all over it again. That's alright, I'll have to clean it out probably three or four more times before I'm done with the done and ready to sell it or whatever anyway. Yeah, since we're giving my daughter my wife's uh, 08 Grand Prix, this is going to be our new backup. At least for right now anyway, until something better comes along. It's cheaper and easier on gas. But I mean, this thing's got loads of power. It shifts smooth and everything else. But then it's got the little quirky garbage wrong with it, like that seat right there that somebody just stitched back rather than replacing the, the seat cover. I mean, it, it's it's holding. I wouldn't call it a an actual fix, but it's holding. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, for the most part, it is what it is. We've still got the six disc CD changer. And I did test this DVD player. It does actually work. Works quite well, actually. Um, of course, you can't hear anything. Everything goes through these controls on the, the rear console back here. Holy crap. Looks like I'm going to have to double clean everything in here when I do clean it because... Yeah. This is the crap I'm talking about right here. See how it's different color? This is that paint that I was telling you about. They call it dye. It ain't dye, it's paint. And it's not the right color, doesn't match, and it doesn't stay on there anyway. Doesn't doesn't last at all. Matter of fact, this was all covered with it, and I steamed it all off. Little residue is on them switches. And I did the same thing here. Need to steam the front side too and get the rest of that off to where it looks like it's supposed to again. That's ridiculous looking. It's not this isn't damaged this is what the the real leather looks like this is that painted on garbage right here people need to stop using that crap because all it does is leave another layer that you don't really need and I got to get that trim piece for in here and for in mine the they're impossible to find um, so far, the only ones I've found uh, have a $152 price tag, and you can only buy the whole set. That's all this trim. This is all I need on that door. That's this trim, the dash trim, uh, these ones on the back doors. I think that's all of it and oh and the insert on the dash up there but you can only buy the whole set unless somehow the magically the dealers got it offered separately which I doubt but <clears throat> that getting that bumper cover painted and put on here the quarter panel I'm going to paint. Actually, I think I'm going to paint that and the quarter panel body molding that I've got separately. I'm going to I'm going to leave them off the vehicle and paint them. Um and then we'll we'll get it all fixed up here. Um I mean, once I've got it painted, I can I can get it all reassembled rather quickly it's just a matter of a few of those pop rivets and the um well that bumper cover is going to be a little hard to put on because the lock 
the spare tire on the, these things has a lock on it and what you do is the lock actually plugs up the end of the shaft that you roll the bar down to drop the spare tire down out from under the back of the truck and in order to get it off I had to pull out on the passenger side of the bumper slide the bumper over and then pull it back over the the latch because when you take the lock out of the spare tire carrier that's when you can put the bar in it to drop the thing down the the carrier down and um, but the whole thing doesn't come out once you're done and you've raised it back up and put your lock back in and lock it into place and then put the cover over it I mean it, it that helps hold the bumper cover on and in place the whole time so anyway that's kind of the state of things right now um, I have left this running the whole time because the battery kind of crapped a bed on us um, now I've tried something with my Tahoe that seems to be working really well that I'm probably gonna do with this one as well um, I've got that uh, I think it's 5 watt 5 or 15 watt solar panel it's the the one that unfolds uh, it's about the size of a briefcase and I put it up on the dash of the Tahoe and then ran wires out the edge of the door up to the battery and that's keeping the Tahoe's battery charged beautifully I go out there and stick the key in it right now and just boom fires right up so I think I'm gonna do that with all of these um, of course I'm not spending a hundred dollars on two more of those solar panel things to put in vehicles uh, what I'll probably do is just get the smaller ones from Harbor Freight when the time comes and hook them up the same way uh, as long as they've got the same connected ends on them. Um, I can buy a new cable kit that I can run under the hoods of each one of them and let the solar panel just act as a battery tender and keep everything charged up. But that's it. Um, I thank you guys for watching and oh. Well, I guess I could show you under the hood. See? Nothing squeaking, bouncing, making a lot of noise or anything. This thing is super quiet. Topped off with oil, got plenty of uh, Dex cool in it. Now I swapped this battery out for hers because the one that was in it was actually from 06. And here it is, 2018. And it wasn't staying charged for more than a day. So now I've taken one out of hers and it was only going down like every two or three days. And we put a new battery in her truck and it's working fine now for her. This one's doing okay for this one, but I gotta come out and crank it up every day. And uh, all the more miles it's on it, it's not hurt, so. But yep, that's it. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. You have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again soon.